In this program, we're going to take a look at gases in the mole, and in particular, Amadeus Amagadro's gas law. It essentially has two parts to it. Let's start with part number one, that the volume of a gas is proportional to the amount or moles of the gas present. So let's say we start off with this balloon that contains n1 amount of moles, and it occupies a volume. We'll call it volume one. And here are the gas particles. I'll show three of them here, striking the side of the balloon and pushing it out. If I now take this balloon and add another n1 moles of gas to it, there would then be more particles pushing out in the balloon. That would then result in a larger balloon. The volume would increase. So we would now have V2, and it would equal twice the original volume because I have now present twice the number of moles present. That's what's meant by this phrase that the volume is proportional to the number of moles. Let's look at graphically. If I have here my volume and here my number of moles, as you increase that number of moles, you'll increase the volume. Let's look at a mathematical expression now of Avogadro's law. So in this situation when I had n1 moles, I had volume 1. In the second case, when I doubled n1, to arrive at the number of moles in 2, I generated twice the volume. Because these two points lie on the same line, they must have the same slope. And our expression for slope would be this. Volume 1 over n1 is equal to volume 2 over n2. That would be a mathematical expression, then, of the first statement in Avogadro's Law. Let's apply that now to a question. The volume of 0 0.075 moles of oxygen gas occupies 1.8 decimeters cubed. What amount of oxygen is needed to occupy 2.0 decimeters cubed? So this value here represents my N1, number of moles in situation 1, and this volume 1. We are asked what amount, so N2 is the unknown in this question, and we need to figure out that based on volume 2. Let's put that now into the expression that we have here. So volume 1 would be 1.8 decimeters cubed, 0.075 moles. That's going to then equal volume 2, 2.0 decimeters cubed over N2. Cross multiplying and isolating then for N2, we should get 2.0 decimeters cubed over 1.8 decimeters cubed times 0 0.075 moles. The units will cancel and to two significant digits I'll get 0 0.083 mole. So there's an application of the first statement in Avogadro's law. Now let's look at the second idea in his law. The second idea is that the volume of gas is not affected by the type of gas. So let's say this balloon has O2 gas in it. I'll represent that by two atoms of oxygen here, joined together. And again, those are striking the sides of the balloon, pushing outwards. And for argument's sake, I'm going to say that the 
volume of this balloon is 0 0.10 uh, decimeters cubed. If I replace the oxygen with, say, something like neon gas, monoatomic, so I would have the same amount of neon gas, so again I'll put three particles in of neon, so there they are, and they would be striking the balloon and pushing it outward. Avogadro found out that the volume, since this balloon contains the same number of particles, would be the same. So the volume of the balloon was independent of the type of gas and only upon the number of particles of gas. Let's take this idea now and apply it to this question. Deduce the volume of carbon dioxide gas produced by the combustion of 125 cubic centimeters of propane. So propane is C3H8 and it's a gas. And combustion means we're going to combine it with oxygen gas and that will then produce our carbon dioxide gas and water vapor. Balancing it, we'll need three for the carbon dioxide, four in front of the water, and that will correspond to five oxygens. So we're told that this volume of gas is 125 cubic centimeters. I can see from the equation that it is going to produce three times the number of molecules. That then means it's going to produce three times the volume, since the volume is independent of the type of gas. So I would expect then 375 cubic centimeters of gas. So that's it. Two key ideas behind Avogadro's law. One is that the um, amount of gas is proportional to the volume of the gas. And second, the volume of gas is independent of the type of gas. Thanks for watching.